Hi friends and welcome to my channel where we encourage each other to be better and do good. Today we're going to be talking about inspiration from an ironing board, also known as, well there's something you don't see every day. I want to tell you a little bit about our past weekend. It was an amazing weekend, it was an event-filled weekend, it was a fun-filled weekend, but it was an emotionally-filled weekend. Now, now, as I get started, I do want to take a minute and let you know that also during this weekend, I had the opportunity to spend a few brief minutes with one of my subscribers. So, shout out to Caitlin. Caitlin, Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, for supporting my efforts here. I so much appreciate it. And, and, and I understand, Caitlin, that you have a big life event coming up here in just a few weeks. And I want to take a minute and send you well wishes and blessings and, and good thoughts coming your way for that event and for all of your future. So thank you, Caitlin. Well, in this weekend, let me tell you, there, there are three things I want to touch on. One, it was a roller coaster of emotions, an emotional roller coaster. Now, I know all of us have, have either at least seen people ride a roller coaster. Most of us have probably ridden at least one. Some of us may be roller coaster freaks and ride every one we can find. And you know, the ups and downs of that roller coaster, and when it finally ends, you're kind of drained. But, but, but that's kind of what we talk about with an emotional roller coaster. You know, all of us experience different emotions as we go through phases of life. And sometimes we're in a, a time where things are low, they kind of ebb and things just aren't going our way. And then the pendulum begins to swing and things are better. But when we talk about an emotional roller coaster, it slams all of that, it compacts all of that into a brief span of time, in our case 24 hours, where we're hit with highs and then lows and highs and lows. And we're just like riding that roller coaster up and down the whole time and it's really really, really drains you. So we had that happening as we were making our trip this past weekend over to Alabama to uh, attend our daughter's graduation from university. And there were some reasons, but health reasons, we felt like we might not even be able to make the trip, but we were able to do that. And there were a lot of little things that happened along the way that were kind of like, well, that was weird or that was bad. And then there were some comical, humorous, funny things that happened. But the, the biggest thing that as we were traveling over, we got a phone call from our daughter and, and that was a very good thing. Was, she had some potential good news, but it was followed right behind that with a phone call from my brother with what could have turned out to be p potentially disastrous or really, really bad news. At the time, we weren't sure how bad it was going to be, but felt like it was really, really bad. So just in a brief span of two minutes, you know, emotional roller coaster going on. And then for the next 24 hours, is it going to be bad? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be okay? And, and, and while also trying trying to attend this monumental event in our daughter's life. Now, now for those of you who want to know the end of the story and, and that might know our family, uh, everything turned out okay, everything is fine, but we didn't know that during that 24 hour span of time. So I thought about sharing with you about emotional roller coasters today, but they don't always turn out just like the ride when everything ends, it's just over. Sometimes they keep going, so I thought about that. And then, and then at the commencement, uh, the graduation ceremony, the commencement speaker was Dr. David Shannon, and he did a wonderful job of, of inspiring and motivating and encouraging these graduates. Uh, his, his talk was just, I, I learned from it. It was, it was, I was motivated from it. But he talked about whatever you do, do it with passion. And he talked about, you know, putting your heart into things. And, and as we talk about things uh, that don't really interest us and don't really get our, you know, energies going, that are, we sometimes use the phrase, my heart just wasn't in it. But things that, that we learn to put our heart into, our passion into, that will really drive us. But, 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 he also talked about balance. And, you know, you can't have passion in one area of life to the exclusion of all the other or any of the other areas of life. You, you can't be so passionate about your job or your occupation or your finances that you forget your family or your other responsibilities. And he used different areas of life and talked about that. And I thought it was so good. So passion in what you do, excel in what you do, be committed to what you do, be the best at what you do, but also, also, also have balance across the different areas of life in all the things that you do. 
And, and you know, I thought about maybe sharing more of that message with you, and it's, it was very encouraging, it was motivating, it was positive, it was uplifting. But you know, I, I was, I, thoughts were going through my mind, what do I want to talk about in today's video? And, and here's, here's the kicker, I, I, I tell you. So uh, yesterday morning, uh, Lori and I were packing up from, from the hotel that we were staying in for the weekend, and it, it was a different hotel than where we normally stay. Now you may stay in this hotel a lot, and this is something normal to you, but it was a first for me. And, and we had not stayed at this particular hotel before, and we're packing up things, and, and uh, as I reach into the closet to get my hang-up bag to get ready to load up to go to the car, I noticed something kind of odd over in the corner. Well, it in itself wasn't odd. It was the ironing board and it was hanging there in the coat closet like you expect to be in a, in a hotel room. But then something didn't look right about it. And so I moved the hang-up bag over and pulled it out and looked and there was writing. There were words on the ironing board, but of course it was hanging, you know, vertically. And so I couldn't really read the words. In fact, they were upside down from, from where I was looking. And so I took my hang-up bag out, laid it over on the bed. And then I pulled the ironing board out of the closet, went over to the couch and sat it on the couch where I could see what it said and read the words. And I was like, oh, wow. Inspiration from an ironing board. Well, well, well credit where credit is due. I said, oh, wow. And then I said, Lori, look at this. And okay, it was my wife, Lori, who said, inspiration from an ironing board. Who knew? So I want to share with you the words that were on that ironing board. And it's kind of the message all wrapped up. And it's just what I'll leave you with today because I think this is just a great message. And if I had all of your emails, I would just email it to you. But here's what it says, and listen up. Embrace the flow, the splendor, and the dance of life. This day was created for you. Cherish it. Be proud of who you are and what you represent. Live your life with purpose and passion and integrity. Make today a giant yes. Yes to life, to craziness, and to humor. You're here for a purpose. Make it happen. Bring life, energy, and love to all that you do. Create your vision, live your values, believe in your goals. Be grateful for this day. Our lives are full of abundance. Trust your intuition and follow your heart. Seize the day. Be fully alive to the sights, the sounds, and the feelings around you. Embrace this day with passion and energy. Your nobility, patience, and understanding are needed. Make choices for which you will be proud. May you walk in beauty. You're on stage, wow them. Be memorable for your vision, your wisdom, and your attitude. If your, wor if your world needs happiness, create it. Wow, there you go. Inspiration from an ironing board. A lot of words for an ironing board, but they're so, so meaningful. So I just, you know, one of the phrases, there's so many phrases, but one of the phrases there was, you know, you're, you're on stage, wow them. I'll share one quick story and then wrap this up because I, I just think that kind of says it all for today. So many things that could be inspired, could be motivating and take that message. Uh, with you every day and live life to its fullest. You know, several years ago, well, one of my sons, uh, Travis, and I were, were walking through a mall, and he has, he, he's, he's a very artistic person. He's an actor. He's a, he's a drama teacher, uh, studying in college now to be a school teacher, and, and I think he's just going to be awesome. But he's just, you know, sings and dances and performs, and he can just be going down the mall and in his own little world. And one day I'm walking down the mall with him, and he's bursting into song, and I just kind of, uh, in a show tune and join him and he looks at me like uh dad don't do that and i said well why is it okay for you to do it and not me i mean i'm your dad but am i just embarrassing you he says dad when i do it there's a whole chorus line behind me well you see that i think was so in encouraging so motivating so inspiring 
that's the way to live life so energetically and so passionately that there's a chorus line behind you. The stage is the world. Make it great. Make your performance awesome. And I thank you for watching. See you next time.